you're still watching Morning Live. Now, according to one reviewer, Kuwabas Vanierden could charm a fish right out of the water, while another says it is beautifully scripted and performed brilliant and extremely funny. The two reviewers are speaking about quirky, family-friendly, one-man rollicking adventure t titled Catch, which is part of the 2015 Glenwood Community Festival that happens at the Glenwood Prep School Hall on Friday, the 4th of September at 7 p.m. Now, to tell us more about about the about catch, we're joined from our Durban studios by multi-talented actor Yakubas Fanierden. Kuwabas, good morning. Welcome to Morning Live. Morning. Thanks for having me. All right, let's talk about catch. Somebody was reviewing and said um, it is brilliant and extremely funny, beautifully scripted and performed. What do you say to reviews like that? Well, I mean, I'm obviously very happy. With a review like that and um, you know whenever I perform I just try and do the best I can and uh, hopefully people enjoy it. What is Catch about? Well uh, growing up I moved to Neisner when I was about 10 years old and I lived there for a couple of years and uh, I made very good friends with, a, with a, a fisherman who taught me all kinds of things about fishing in the Neisner Lagoon and we got up to all kinds of mischief and went on a lot of adventures and uh, but 12 years later, when I started working in theatre as a writer and an actor, I um, basically used all of those experiences to create this play which, uh, yeah, which I've performed many times all over the country. What do you want your audience to take away from Catch? Well, I think it's a, it's a simple story. And, but I think that the key to it is it's just authentic and I'd like people to... to go away feeling that they've experienced something which is just really honest and uh, heartfelt and entertaining and, and funny. I, I've always loved comedy and it's a comedy show. So I think that's what I'd like people to take away, just that it's something that's authentic and not pretentious and trying to be, you know, high art or trying to be American or it's just an authentic story. Now the production won, you know, Panza's Musho Theatre Festival Audience Vote Award, amongst others. What do you think you did right in Catch to, you know, attract the attention that it did and to earn you these awards? Well, uh, obviously there's a lot of preparation that goes into it. Uh, so, uh, yeah, just committing 120% to the performance and uh, also just putting the extra hours into the actual writing of the show. And then lastly, it's the props. You know, I used a lot of glow-in-the-dark props uh, with uh, UV lights or black lights. And uh, yeah, I've got some, some techniques of black lighting up my sleeve, which uh, came together really nicely in the end show. And yeah, I put a lot of thought into using props which would effectively tell the story but which would also be kind of visually appealing and I, I think they just added something extra to my show because often one-man shows can be a little bit stark you know you have one performer uh, for an hour on stage and uh, having something extra like that an extra element like that in the show just helped to keep people's attention now you worked with Liam Magna as the director talk to us about that and that relationship well, Liam and I actually went to high school together and uh, we've done a whole bunch of shows together. Uh, Tokoloshi Come and Go, Tokoloshi Come Again, uh, which were these African storytelling shows, uh, two white guys telling African stories. But yeah, it was a lot of fun and uh, we write together quite a lot and we're really good at bouncing ideas off each other and we just seem to come up with funny ideas when we're together and he really helped to add something to the show in terms of humor especially because obviously they were all my experiences that I was drawing on but in the performance of it he he always comes up with ideas which are different and left field and uh, which really added something to this production. And what's the best compliment you've received about Catch so far? Well, sure, it's hard to remember. <laughs> uh, I think people just when people tell me that they, they thought it was an honest story, uh, that's what I appreciate because I find a lot of people don't write from their own experiences. They're always trying to, to create art which is similar to another artist they might look up to. 
uh, instead of drawing from their own experiences, which is what I did. So uh, when people say that they, you know, the, the story resonated with them, then um, I find that satisfying because uh, I think it's just an indication that I wrote from my own experience and from my heart. Mm -hmm. All right, so before I let you go, give us details of the performance, ticket prices, uh, and all those. Well, tickets are available for 50 Rand, uh, and you can get them at Glenwood Preparatory School, which is where the performance is taking place. And it's taking place on Friday the 4th of September at 7 p.m. And you can get tickets through the day or um, prior to the performance. There are only 220 available. Yeah, but the show is part of the Glenwood Community Festival and there are a whole range of other activities uh, over the course of that weekend. All kinds of visual art competitions, photography competitions, bridge building, treasure hunting, and it's all about community building. So check out the Glenwood Community Festival. All right, Yakobas, thank you so much for talking to us. Good luck with your performance. Multi-talented Durban actor uh, Yakobas Van Yeren speaking to us about uh, one man, uh, his one-man rollicking adventure titled Cash, which is part of the 2015 Glenwood Community Festival at the Glenwood Prep School Hall. That's on Friday, the 4th of September, and it is at 7 o'clock.